Hello. Today, I wanted to show you my, one of my favorite VJing apps. For starters, it's an iPad 2. Pretty cheap these days, which is the nice thing about them. And with the, uh, with the 40 pin connector, that means we can get composite video out. Audio as well, but composite video out. And that means for a pretty low setup price, let's get this back over here. Oh, crashed it. means for a pretty low setup price, as in I got given this, maybe you have an old one from back when they were relevant, you can get a nice two channel video source going. What are you using? Color code VJ. Uh, you can update the clips uh, and images via USB to your computer. Uh, they come in as images in iTunes. Uh, it's a relatively painless process. I've got these two channels. And then you just have a straight mix between them. This content's a different size, so you can see I'm getting kind of different results. But it's pretty cool. It's got um, playhead position. It's not a smooth, it's kind of a stack and jump uh, speed. Nice as well. Hold that down, it clears it. You can pause and play the footage. If you have a bank selected and then you click on a clip, it'll jump straight into there. Tap on the screen, it'll do a nice quick mix. Pull it over there. Uh, super cool. Uh, if I had the video connection here, I'd click on this and it would bring up our connect to monitor option. Um, and then I could get it out. But it's, um, it's also got a little audio player up the top for when you're jamming along. You get uh, six banks full of clips that can be either, um, it comes with this first bank. Um, it's got some okay stuff in it. Um, I'm more into just importing my own stuff. Uh, it's got weird image layers and animation stuff I haven't really looked at. Haven't really bothered going into that kind of detail. Um, but I think this thing is fantastic. Partially because it's super cheap, the app's pretty cheap, maybe it's like 13 bucks, or I mean I got it when I was like 13 bucks iPad 2s, you probably have one lying around, or maybe you know someone who's got a shitty old one with like a crack in the screen or something that they will just sell to you for like 50 bucks or whatever. So that's cool. Then you've got this like extra source. I've tried it on the iPad 1 I got given. Come here. Uh, and I've had m mixed success. found that it seems perfectly happy playing the content inside the app, but that you'll notice it doesn't have the screen connect in the corner. And when I connect or attempt to connect to an external monitor, um, I don't get anything. I don't know if that's because this is a dodgy, um, cheapy kind of plug I got off eBay, or like maybe it needs the official ones. Maybe there's some kind of protection on that one that there isn't on this one. Maybe not. Uh, I found this is super stable. Color Code VJ has been super stable for me. It's been, um, uh, if I've ever had a crash, it's because, you know, I've unplugged the cable or um, I've quit the app. Whilst keeping it in play mode, that can kind of mess stuff up for you. Um, but I've been using this for maybe about a year, a year and a half, as part of my VJ setup, just to get like a nice extra channel of composite video. 
Um, and whilst it has only got this one sort of mix method, um, with the kind of stuff that I do, it's not as big a deal. Like, let's select that, let's pull this over. I mean, I do a lot of video sort of feedback stuff where, you know, dimming the colours in order to do this transition. You know, there'll be such a high colour gain on an effect that I'm doing that, uh, you know, isn't a huge issue. I think it's definitely worth a look. I think it's definitely worth checking out um, if you're looking for like an extra video source that you don't want to be your laptop. You don't want to bother lugging your laptop around to gigs because you're working with like analog stuff, but you want like another source. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on anything after the iPad 2 because then they don't have these slots. You might be able to get a program that does HDMI or something, but I can't really um, speak to that. All I can just say is that Color Code VJ uh, on an iPad 2 is super great and I've really enjoyed using it. And I definitely think it's worth a look as an extra, you know, portable video source for you. See ya.